Good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening, good evening. I think, oh, that's the wrong screen. What's going on? I think I'm live. I should be live. I should be live. I'm just going to pull up the comments, just check that we're actually live. Yeah, I can see it there. Cool. Join Joel 19 with there. I'm just going to, I'm just going to fire up my, um, I'm doing it today, as you can probably good see. Good evening, everybody. Oh, God, good evening, good evening, good evening. Quiet that one down. Cool. Right. So I'm just going to do this so I can see the comments. I'm going to move this over here, this screen over here, so I can see. I don't know why I'm all crooky. Let's have a quick look. <clears throat> um, the comments are what I want to see. So it's fine. Perfect. Right. I'm going to cover myself with that screen. How is everyone this evening? I hope we're all well. Just a quick flick through the comments. It's all looking good. Cool. Congrats on the big film company. Yes. Now, right, let's pick this up straight away. Let's get this one um, out there. Let's talk about this because I know what you guys are thinking. I know what everyone is looking for. I know what everyone is expecting. You are all thinking and, and you're all wrong. Every single one of you is wrong. I just want to put that out there right now. James, especially you and Laura, I can tell that you, this is what you guys are going to be thinking right now. Is your, You guys are all thinking that Joel is bound, absolutely guaranteed to let slip what's filming at the prison. That's, that's what you guys are thinking is that I'm gonna let it slip. I know, I know you are. And I'm not gonna let it slip because um, I'm not allowed to. <laughs> I will get in so much trouble. Like seriously, I will be, I think I will actually be fired if I tell you um, what's filming. So. Yes, so that is uh, not going to happen this evening. I'm not going to talk about it. Um, uh, I'm going to say it's great that we do have the filming happening. Very excited about that. Um, uh, it's, it's going to be uh, a really good um, uh, period of time for us. It's uh, seven weeks. So it's a big shoot, it's a decent sized shoot. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, it, 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 it is um, some some uh, big names, we should say. So um, yeah, it, it, it's good and I'm gonna leave it at that. And I'm not gonna talk any more about that. Um, uh, that kind of promise you, yeah. Um, I'm gonna drink a cup of tea um, to keep me safe. Um, I'm sure at some point over the filming period, um, it, will, it will be announced, but it will certainly won't be announced by us. So unless, um, ITV announced it. Oh, oh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, so let's, um, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I, that's all I'm going to say about it. That's it. Um, because otherwise I'll, I'll, I'll talk myself into trouble. Um, right. I expect Harriet's watching tonight just, just to make sure that I don't say anything I shouldn't do. I just flick through the comments. Good evening, everybody. Um, usual suspects here, as I can see. Um, all the usual criminals are in the house. Um, thank you, Teresa. It is, it is good news, like I say. Um, da, 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 da. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> when James, like when I prematurely announced the post of prison. Yeah, it kind of was premature. I just, I just didn't feel I wanted to do a big announcement with the post of prison. Like, um, and do, do you know what? I'll, I'll tell you one of the reasons why I didn't think I wanted to do a huge announcement. Um, uh, for the post of the prison and actually we posted that on Facebook today or the team posted it on Facebook today which did you guys get to see the cherry picker did you guys see the photos of of, um, uh, of the cherry picker in today the guys doing the drains um, so quick flick so I'm just I'm just flicking the comments to make sure they're there oh Laura I'll tell you about last night but I'll tell you about the last night behind bars um, Morris, can I fire myself? I think I, I think I can be fired as CEO. Yeah, um, that is a sackable position. Absolutely, I can't be fired as owner of the company because I own it. But I could absolutely be fired as CEO. Definitely. Yeah. Um, da, da, da. I will talk about last last week's night behind bars. Um, superheroes movies. Oh, that'd be amazing. Do you know what? A couple of years ago, it's a few years ago. We had an inquiry um, to for a film shoot at Shepton Mallet Prison, and they wanted to shoot a scene or two scenes there for Fast and the Furious. Um, and it was like, oh my God, Fast and the Furious. And I can't remember what the scenes were. It was something to do with it. It was a fight with them. Uh, I think it was supposed to be Vin Diesel and some Russian 
like mob guys type of stuff. I don't think he even made the film in the end. That storyline got changed. But yeah, they came and wrecked. We're like, oh my god, they're going to shoot Fast and the Furious here. That would be amazing. Um, productions are great, but they're, they're few and far between. Do you know what I mean? So it's not. We don't base our business around it. Um, Stacy, absolutely. I got your back, dude. If um, if anything comes in, um, I'll 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 put your name in straight away. Um, but it is a male prison. Um, oh, I assume it'll be a male prison. I mean, it's a, it was a male prison when it ran, so I, I assume, I don't know. Um, I've not really paid too much attention to it. Um, da, 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 da. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, so the cherry picker. So this is this is why, this is probably why I didn't get overly, like, the, yeah, the thing, the thing with, with having a prison. So we, we've obviously had the prison for the last five years. As you know, we, we've been leasing it. And during that time, and those of you that visited, and then uh, I've said this so numerous times, it's really hard for us to invest in um, a building that we don't own, that we were never quite sure how long we were going to be there. You guys know the history, 12 months, it's two years, and so on and so forth. So really hard to invest. Now that we've bought the place, it's a different world. Firstly, I want to invest into it because I want to make it better. Um, but secondly, because what I'm trying to do is prevent problems from happening. So we've had the guys in doing the drains. That's why we've had the cherry pickers. And bear in mind, the wings are pretty high. And some of those roofs are really difficult to get to. Um, and we've literally just had them clearing the drains. And if you've, if you've ever looked up, I don't know if you've looked at the drain pipes, but next time you guys are in, have a look at the drain pipes on A-Wing. They are literally like that deep. Like some of the drain pipes are nearly a foot deep. They're about nine inches deep, 10 inches deep. They're huge, huge drain pipes. Um, and what they were finding was these are completely rammed just with stuff. So moss off the roof, sticks, twigs, the odd bird. Um, so bits and pieces. So it's just absolutely clogged up, basically. And what happens, obviously, when it rains really heavily is they spill over, they leak, they break. Um, water drips down the building and eventually it just damages the bricks. Um, and it, it, we get water damage and stuff like that. So prevention is always better than cure. So we, we get the guys in, we get all the drain pipes cleared so it all runs smoothly. Um, then obviously we don't get leaks um, and then we don't get further damage because when you get damage to building work, like brickwork and roof work and stuff like that, I mean, you're talking tens of thousands of pounds. Um, whereas to get the drains done, it's a, it's a, it, it's, you know, it, you, you notice it, the bill, the bill's not, it's not cheap. Um, I mean, I think we're probably going to pay somewhere in the region of, so I don't know, four, four grand, something like that, to, to get all the drains done around the entire site, get all the buddlier out as well, make it look a bit presentable, more presentable, make sure the drain pipes are fixed and working. There's obviously a lot of them. We've got to get cherry picks in, take specialist crews. They've got to take care of the building. So all those kind of things, but it will save us thousands down the line. So I think that's probably why I didn't get, when everyone was getting really excited about buying the prison um, and about the sa safety and security of it, which I was excited. I was also thinking in my head, I was, I was beyond that point. I was at the next stages, which is right. Now we've got to think about what we're going to do. What are, we, what are we building next? What are we maintaining? Where are we spending the money on the maintenance, the, the prevention work, all that kind of stuff. So everyone else was there excited. And I was over here kind of like, right, we've got to get this booked in. And, and obviously we're moving quite quickly. Um, you know, the first month, um, within the first month of buying it, we've got the guys in to do all the high level stuff. So that's an expense. Um, we've got stuff happening. We've got the hoarding being changed next week um, uh, to be more secure. We've got the gates going back in. Um, we've done some work inside. Um, we're going to do a load of work whilst the production's in. So we're going to be able to do some bits in there. Um, Trying to think what else we've been doing. I know Lauren's been quite busy with different different bits and pieces, and obviously we've been we've been doing Shepton as well. Shepton's got a new Shepton's now developed a visitor centre, so we've developed a visitor centre down in Shepton as opposed to like a ticket office, and it looks amazing. And we've got some great stuff there. I'm going down with Lauren actually. We're going to go spend the week down there at the beginning of November. So Lauren and I are driving down Sunday evening. We'll be there Sunday through to Thursday. So sorry, I'm missing all the comments. Um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, did you go up in the cherry pick? I haven't been up. I'm going to go up tomorrow. So um, I'm just looking actually over here. Lisa, the photos you saw today, if you look on it, um, uh, you'll see uh, Lisa is up there with the guy. She is, oh, the photos look amazing that Lisa took. Um, so she was up there um, with, with the guy. <laughs> I'm just looking at her photos. She took some like, high selfies. Um, they took her up, so she got to have a go. Um, it meant no work got done for like 40 minutes. I was shouting up to her about how, how amazing it is to work for a company like us. I think I shouted across the, 
the prison yard. Imagine if you worked for a proper company, um, not one like ours. But I'm going to go up tomorrow, and I'm actually going to go up when they're at the front, um, and I'm going to go get a selfie with John Howard. So because the cherry picker's in, and whilst they're here to do the drains, they're here to do the buddlier, I thought I would take advantage of it. Um, and I would get up to the front and just have a look at the, um, uh, the, the 1790 Gate Lodge, the Georgian Gate Lodge. And I specifically wanted to check the bust of John Howard because nobody's been up there for a long time and just make sure that there's, there's, there's no problems with that. Um, so I'm going to go up there tomorrow with the guys um, and I might get a little selfie with them as well because I think that's going to be a cool little photo. So, right. Oh, the leaks on the roof next to my list. We looked at that today. So... Today, the guys got up on the roof. Um, they had a look at the leaks and the windows. So we've got three leaks, a really a, a bigger one down the far end, a small one in the middle, and then a, another one down the other end. So we were surveying that today, looking at the roof tiles, a couple of slip tiles, um, a fair bit of moss and stuff like that. And basically, we were, we were trying to establish whether it could be done from the cherry picker, whether it could be done from the roof. Um, and unfortunately, it, 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 there's enough to do up on the roof of A-Wing alone then it's going to have to be scaffolded. So we're actually now looking at quite a big job on the roof, which is basically going to be scaffolding up one side of A-Wing, I would imagine. Might have to do both sides, but scaffold up one side of A-Wing. Um, they might be able to do a cherry picker, but I don't know. It's going to be a big cherry picker. Um, and they've got to get on. They've got to replace a few tiles. Um, they've got to do the windows um, and a few other bits and pieces. So that's going to be... That's going to, that's probably going to be next year. I would have thought um, it's certainly maybe this side of the year because we've got to, we've got to do a number of applications, planning applications and stuff like that as well. Um, and obviously figure out what we're going to do if any other tiles have to be replaced because they're not exactly, you can't just go down to B and Q and buy them. Um, so. <laughs> Leicester prison, is Leicester, Leicester prison open? Is it closed? I don't know what's going on in Leicester. Let me quick look. Um, you guys will probably be able to tell me. Leicester prison. Well, like I said before, I think I'm done with prisons. Like I, I, I love them. Don't get me wrong, but um, uh, it, it's you know I'm not sure if I want to have a have another one. Um, I was going to say Leicester's still open, isn't it? I'm sure, it is. Opened in 1828, so I guess it is. It's a it's a Victorian. Have a quick look. Leicester Prison does look like Castle. You're right, it's got the big turrets in it. Um, no, it's still open. I'm sure Leicester's still open. Where's Wikipedia? Can't go wrong with Wikipedia. Wikipedia always tells you the truth. Yeah, yeah, Laura's there. She's saying it's still open. Yeah, and it, do, it does look like a castle. I, I, I get what you're saying. Um, the trouble is, when these things get sold as well, they, they do get sold at, um, you know, a base of what they're going to get developed into. So we'll see, but I don't I don't see Leicester closing anytime soon. How many prisons has it got? Because that's the that's the key thing. It's an older jail. So it's 1825. So it is an older prison. See, this is this is why this is why you can't trust Wikipedia. So one of the first things in the history, one of the first lines, it says. The prison's distinctive red brick perimeter walls are thought to be the highest in the country with an estimated height of 30 feet. Well, Shepton's walls are 75 feet and they are the highest walls in the country. Even Shrewsbury's walls are like slightly higher than 30 feet. So I think they're meant to say the lowest walls in the country. Um, that's why you can't always trust Wikipedia. Um, I'm not sure how many prisons are in there. But yeah, it's not, it's not really on my list anyway. I'll, I'll leave that. Um, so look. What happens to our staff when we have film companies in? Depends on what. It depends on how long the um, film companies are in for. Ultimately, um, so if it's a uh, a, a small uh, production, high, which they normally are, normally we you know we're sort of anywhere from a couple of days to, to maybe a week, uh, two weeks type of stuff. Um, uh, and uh, normally the staff will be working because there's somebody there the whole time. Um, so normally they'll, they'll be working and doing different bits. Um, on this instance, with, with a seven week shutdown, we can change it around a little bit, but to be honest, everyone's got so much holiday to go because obviously of COVID, nobody was able to take holiday. Everyone was furloughed. So it's a, it's a good opportunity to um, uh, get holiday for people basically. 
Um, back to Leicester. Um, let's move off the production. Um, I can see what you're trying to do. Um, uh, yeah, I was going to say the walls looked higher. Um, I think that's just Wikipedia saying the 30 foot, but yeah, Shepton is definitely one of the, well, I use the highest, I know it's the highest. Um, okay, cool. Right. Night behind bars last week. So night behind bars after three good events. Last one of the year was last week. We obviously had some some changes in terms of um, uh, regulations the government have put in place. We're doing table service at the restaurant. That was a bit bizarre for us, um, but works actually really smoothly. Um, and we shut the bar at 10 and that made such a difference to the evening. It completely changed the whole way things ran after the tour. And I know, I know Laura and James had, had, had flagged this and a couple of other people flagged it as well. And it's a bit of a learning curve for us, to be honest as well. And, and, you know, we're happy to hold our hands up and say we haven't got it quite right and we're, we're you know, we're adapting, we're fixing, we're, we're getting it perfect. Um, and that's really kind of what we did in our buying bars. And closing the bar at 10 made a huge difference. It meant that people came off the tours. Some people had, had bought a few drinks and, and they were in the cells. So they were able to go back and have those. So that was fine. Um, uh, but predominantly, yeah, people were wandering around, sober, sensible, um, uh, they were they were really chatty. Everyone was having a really nice time. Nobody was running around screaming, shouting, being a dick. Um, so it was none of that. Um, everyone wore their masks, so it was really good because it was it was really we didn't have to enforce it. People just did it because they 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 knew they should do it. Um, it was a really good atmosphere. I think by about quarter to two, loads of people were kind of getting their heads down and really enjoying the atmosphere. And those people that wanted to go somewhere were able to wander around. We, we bumped into, Laura and I were there overnight, and we, we bumped into a number of people that wandering around ghost hunting in different areas. And they were kind of swapping themselves around as well. They'd be in an area for a little while, and then they'd go to the next area, and they kind of swap themselves around. And it was great, and it was really, really good to see. Um, and in the morning, people were down for breakfast, and they were, they were a bit groggy because obviously you, you, you'd been in a prison cell overnight. But nobody was like, oh, they, they were good. Um, and, and people seem to really enjoy it. So it's definitely the way to do it. Um, so I think going forward to uh, both Sheps and Shrewsbury, we'll stop serving um, in the bars at 10 o'clock, even after the regulations change back and we can, we can serve to, to sort of 12, half 12. I think we'll stop at 10, do the tours, um, and then obviously you've, you, you've got the jail to yourself from there. So huge, huge difference and a really enjoyable event. So yeah, it ran incredibly smoothly and it was, it was perfect, so yeah. Hi, Laurie. Um, don't worry about being late. I was just telling everybody how um, we've just announced that the production being filmed is ITV's I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here is being filmed at the prison this year. Um, so we're just talking about that, basically, and talking about the celebrities that are coming. So, yeah, I'm sure you're excited for that one, Laurie. Um, Just wait for the comments. <laughs> yeah. The comments are so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Someone else. Someone else has got a teller. Um. <laughs> Although I must admit, when when I'm a celebrity was announced that they're filming in, um, I think they're supposed to film in a castle in Wales, aren't they? Um, and I looked at it, I was like, man, they should film in the prison. They should totally do, I'm a celebrity, get me out of it, in the prison. I mean, that's that's the location. Surely that is the location to do, I'm a celebrity. Um, imagine the stuff that they could do at Shrewsbury. I mean, they'd never go back to Australia. It's a whole series just in itself, just all the time. Um, <clears throat> uh, and I, 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 I mean, my assumption is that that's true that I'm a celebrity of filming in, in, in the castle in Wales, but I don't know what that's going to mean because Wales is going on to lockdown. Like, so that's going to be, that's going to be interesting. Um... <laughs> Sorry, Laurie, I couldn't resist. That's what you get for being late. Ultimately. I mean, if you've been a couple of minutes late, it wouldn't have been a problem, but you're nearly 20 minutes late, Laurie. This is unacceptable. I wouldn't expect it from any of my staff. Um, and I don't expect it from any of the prisoners. So yeah, so you only have yourself to blame, basically. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I thought that, Morris. Yeah, Conway Castle. Um, I know it's not been really announced yet, but that's obviously what 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 people say. So 
Um, and check out my hat. I'm loving this hat. I put this on the other day and I'm not really taking it off. It's absolutely so comfortable and I really like it. It's stylish as hell. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm digging my hat. Um, I'm trying to think what else has happened this week, really. Uh, I had a good day today. I actually, I think, I think I've probably passed a milestone today. And I know I've spoken about this a little bit as well in the past, and I won't go on about it too much. Um, but you know how I've been talking about how, how I've been getting rid of my roles, basically getting rid of my roles, passing my, my roles on to other people. So, um, and I've been having less and less and less to sort of do on a day-to-day -day basis. But today I passed over the final piece, the final big role that I have um, on a day-to-day -day basis, which is the um, social media advertising. So I still very much did that, um, mainly because it's such an important piece of our business. It's where we do 95% of our advertising and marketing spend. It's such a key piece for us. If we get that wrong, we're fucked. If we get it right, it, it's amazing. Um, and I just wasn't kind of ready to let it go. And I wanted to make sure that it was it, it was done right. And I, and I handed it over today to, to our marketing team. So um, uh, somebody in the marketing team, Josie, has now taken that on. She's taken on the mantle. Um, I did turn around to her today in the meeting. Um, she's, she, she won't watch this, so I can say it's fine. She'll, she'll never know any different. Um, but I did say to her today in the meeting that it is one of the, the one of the most important parts of our business if we get this wrong nothing else matters because there won't be any customers so i was like this is so so important and she was like no pressure then i said no no you don't understand you get this bit wrong this is a firing case this isn't this isn't a kind of you can you can make it you can make a couple of little mistakes on the way but you get this catastrophically wrong this is kind of your job on the line kind of situation um and 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 what I loved about Josie, she was like, "No, I've got this. Like, no worries, I've got this. I I know I can do this. I know I can. I know I can make it work. And, and I know exactly how we're going to go about it." And I was just like, "Brilliant!" And that's what I love about our team, is that they're just so. Not everyone, because not everyone's the same, but but certainly a good chunk of the team and, and my team, my close team, um, of just so keen sort of in the progression of everything we do and she was just she was on it so yeah i spent an hour hour with her handing everything over um yeah and that was it and, and then i had a meeting afterwards with the um a web development company that we've just uh signed the contracts with today so they're going to be rebuilding our websites and our membership systems i'll talk about that in a second um so i signed that off with them and i was chatting to the md there um the, the managing director and the owner and he was asking how things are i said oh, i'll just come out of a meeting and I just passed over the last of my day-to-day -day jobs. He was like, what does that mean? I said, well, technically it means I don't have anything to do now on a day-to-day -day basis with the prisons. I'm not, I'm completely out of it operationally. I'm completely out of it day-to-day -day with, you know, bringing customers through the door, how we look after customers when they're here and all the kind of the, just the general running I, I, I'm not in. And, and that was, uh, he was like, wow, that's amazing. What are you going to do with yourself? And I was like, I'm just going to get busy somewhere else. <laughs> so that's, but it is good. And five years we sort of uh, uh, building towards this this kind of moment. So today was a was a big day for that. Um, and I think I'll probably have a little little mini celebration to myself about that later because that's that's um there's a big step being able to free up the the guy or the girl at the top, the person at the top, um, who 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 generally sort of over over visions everything um uh is 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 gonna really help us grow i think it's gonna it's gonna make a huge difference so um da, 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 da. morris get ready for retirement no never never mate never 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 um i'm just having a look i saw some comments come up i just wanted to answer those So I'm just reading the comments. I can work in a restaurant full time now, nah. <laughs> uh, but I can start looking at um, how we're going to do some of the, some of the development work. Um, what was I talking about? It was something that I think I said in there. That's uh, I said I wanted to, to to come back to that to see if that was there. Yeah, Shrewsbury Prison face mask. Oh, really comfortable. I've got mine down here in my bag. My bag. So in here, um, I've got a Shepton one as well, but it's in my office. So I wandered around like this on Saturday night. 
and I was wearing my fleece as well, my Shrewsbury Prison fleece. I was, I was full brand, um, which was quite cool. Washing up. I did the wash. I'll do the washing up. I'm happy to do the washing up. Um, uh, what was I saying? I said something during that whole journey about. Um, uh, so I'll come back to that. Uh, to my marketing. Oh, website, website. So membership schemes. Yeah, I'm actually going to. Why it won't work. Oh, there it is. Apparently, my internet connection is unstable. Reach. Reach media. There they are. I'm just going to tag these guys in a sec so you can see it. Search for business and a state of the art membership scheme. Cool, post that. Right, I'll be back. Should be back. Going back. How's that? In the back. I should be back. I should be back. Oh, come on. That's a good screenshot. It's a good screen grab. Come on, internet. Come on, internet. Work on online shop now. Okay, cool. We're back. Good. So I just wanted to post that up so uh, I could I could tag in the guys at Reach Media because I'm going to start doing more of that. Um, so yeah, so there's a, a company in Shrewsbury. Um, uh, they're a, a web design development company, a marketing company called Reach Media. Um, I met them. I'm trying to think how I, how I came across them actually. I'm, I'm, I'm sure uh, I'm sure actually they came to us originally and, and spoke to us and they did they did they did a, a couple of bits we won a competition or something but anyway I got chatting to the MD um, and the guy who owns it um, I do have ghosts in my house actually Laura so it's, it's funny you should say that um, you got a chance to him a guy called Rob um, and we're talking about websites and stuff like that and obviously I've built um, mobile applications myself and obviously I ran a health and well-being company which became a technology company and I was head of e-wellness um, in, in my last job. So um, it's a world I know quite well. Um, so yeah, so I was, had, a, had a long conversation with them um, and then been building what we wanted to do basically with our websites going forward. And um, yeah, it's just taken a fair bit of time. Obviously, we, we started talking about it through lockdown and I wanted to do more and had to change the digital platform as well. Um, and But I, I have to update the digital side of things in the prison because that makes a big difference about what we can access, especially with the lives that you saw. We we're just running cables all over the bloody place constantly to try and get the lives, try and get internet. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna put internet through the entire prison to be able to walk through and just be connected throughout the entire jail on all on separate um, uh, IP addresses, so it's completely secure. So the customers will have a completely different IP address to to what we have in the background for staff and stuff like that. So that's cool. Um, uh, but yeah, so, so sign, sign an agreement with them and as part of that rebuild of the website, so we're going to rebuild, um, we're going to build a fresh, not rebuild, uh, the Shrewsbury Prison website, the Shaktamala Prison website, um, and some of our future ones. Um, and oh, the live stream just scared me to break my water, this is due to my okay, back and fair enough. Um, uh, and we're going, to re we're going to build a new membership scheme. So we have a membership scheme at the moment, but basically it's, it's kind of a almost... Say a paper-based scheme. It's not a paper-based scheme, but it is. It is kind of like Excel-based, um, and we want to be able to provide so much more value for membership schemes because I think that's that's really kind of where we want to be or where we should be as an attraction. Because there's so many people like yourselves that are really engaged with what we do. Um, so yeah, so we're going to have different tiers of membership. Um, I'm not sure we'll have two or three, and obviously they'll, they'll, they'll have different things. But on the website, there'll be a membership area. And you'll be able to log in, go into the membership area. There'll obviously be discount codes that you can grab 
um, to be able to get discounts on different tours and things like that. You'll obviously get discounts when you're on site. You'll be able to use Shepton and Shrewsbury. You'll be able to get memberships just for one site or for both sites. And then as we grow for the castle, you'll be able to get your membership to improve the castle. Um, you'll be able to get discounts on things like our merchandise and stuff, lots of tours, activities, events. Um, but you'll also be able to get um, access to different bits of news that we put out. We're going to do, um, we've got a load of videos, which is um, uh, like the prison, uh, loads of tips and uh, loads of um, ask an officer questions where basically we ask Graham loads of questions. I think we've done 30 videos so far of me asking Graham different questions and him answering them. So loads of different questions about his years in the service and how different things work. Um, uh, so, so we're, we're doing that and um, that will all be in the membership area and loads of other bits of value that we'll be able to give you little, little sneaky videos that we won't put out there to everyone else type of stuff. If you're already on a membership scheme already, um, then you'll obviously just move into the new scheme. Um, you'll still have your cards, you'll still have your membership card, your inmate card. Um, although I think we might change the inmate cards to, I don't know, God, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. <laughs> I'm back in a world now where I don't know what I'm allowed to say and what I'm not. Um, uh, you, you, they won't be inmate cards anymore, I don't think. The, the membership scheme, I believe, is going to be called the Officers Club. So you might remember that we started this in lockdown. Um, and I kind of want to move the membership scheme really from a prisoner base, I think from a prisoner base to an officer base. Um, so that's that's something we're going to probably speak to speak to you guys about and just sort of see what the preference is. But my gut feeling is that people will prefer to have to be regarded as kind of the right side of the bars rather than the wrong side of the bars. So rather than an inmate card, you'll have your prison officer's card. Um, and obviously there'll be different tiers. So, you know, kids will be junior officers and have officers and you have governors um, or you can have senior officers, which will be like the OAP memberships. So, so we have to do some cool stuff like that. You'll still get your cards, still have your photo on it. Um, and then when you come in, obviously we'll have you in the database, the new, the new database we have behind the scenes. Um, so you come in, you'll, you'll scan your card or you give your name and all your discounts are going to be applied. And it's just going to be as it should be. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're working on that at the moment. Um, and again, having the production company in, will free up some of the team um, over the next seven weeks to be able to um, uh, spend more time with the uh, developers and stuff like that to really get this moving. Um, and ideally we want to get everything rolled out for January. So that's the plan, although I'm going to firm up timeframes with the company on Monday. So we'll see what that looks like. And if you remember, we will obviously just move you over into the new scheme. So. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. And you'll be able to buy, you'll be able to go to the website, buy your membership on the website. So you'll purchase it on the website. As soon as you purchase it, you'll jump into the membership scheme. I think we're going to have an option where you can pay monthly and annually, I believe, but don't quote me on that one. Um, and yeah, once you've done it, you'll, you'll jump in, you'll fill in all your details and then we'll send you there. You'll upload your own photo online and then we will send you your membership card um, in the post. So um, so yeah, so it's it, it, it's a new world for us, which is good. Um, and I, I don't know how we're, how we're going to apply it at the moment in terms of what the costs are going to look like. But like I said, we're going to have some, some different tiers. Obviously, as we expand as a company, we will give the opportunity for people to include other attractions inside their membership, so the castle. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll look at that. Laura, you should have a card. If you, if you remember, you should have a card. Um, it basically has, a, I haven't got a copy with me, but it's got, it's an inmate card with your details on it. It's got your photo, it's got your name, it's got your parole date, I think, which is effectively your membership end date, um, and a couple of other bits on it. Um, so yeah, you should have one of those, either way you should have one. Um, okay, right, we are about 10 minutes before the end of Join Joel number 19. I can't believe it's 19 weeks, and we've not missed one week, which is epic. Um, so any questions, fire up the questions. I'm not answering anything else about the production company. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not answering anything else about that. When you joined, it was free. We did a free membership. I don't recall doing a free membership. Do you mean when you joined up into the officers club?
Yeah, I think we. I think what you guys are talking about is is the officers club, which is basically what we were moving to the membership scheme, and I wanted to move it quicker. And what happened was I was like, right, cool, we're going to change this, and my team were like, yeah, we can't move that fast, Joel. <laughs> and I think I I I I was there, like, and I was just like, right, let's get this done. And I was kind of like, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. You're going to have to slow down a bit, um, and that's why it's taken a little bit longer. Uh, which is why we haven't really used the officers club yet because that is going to be the new membership scheme and i launched it before they'd actually built it um so <laughs> so that's that's kind of where the confusion is that's that's on me they did that I, I did get i did get a told for that one that's uh that head in the clouds feet on the ground scenario um so yeah right so i was just looking at my board to see what was on my board because i, I raised them quite cool Right. Okay. If there's any questions, flag them up and then we'll kind of finish that in the next 10 minutes or so. But yeah, by and large, it's, you know, it's been ups and downs this week as well. Every week, you'll probably have noticed I've not been doing an awful lot on social media. So I'm just having a quick look over here on Facebook. A few notifications popped up. Um, uh, you'll have seen that I haven't been really been doing a lot of stuff on social media for the last couple of weeks for a very specific reason. Um, so that's gonna. I'm gonna start coming back to doing stuff um, over uh, next week, probably now. Um, but I'm gonna start coming to do some more videos. Um, I'm actually gonna start doing. I'm gonna do a, a, like a little mini Instagram series on my on my IGTV, where I'm just gonna introduce um, different members of the team. I'm gonna just sort of a couple of minutes, just speaking to individual members of the team, finding out about what they do, how long they've worked with us, um, what they like about their job, what they don't like about their job. Um, how we can improve things um, and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that really kind of open and honest and ask them to be completely open and honest as well. And I'm just going to post the whole thing from IGTV. Um, but then the responses they give me, we will then use to improve our business. And uh, as, we, as I post that, customers will be able to say, no, no, we think that's different or we think this. And we'll be able to use all that information to, to really streamline and improve, improve what we do. Um, uh, I've no idea when the next live is, but considering we've got seven weeks of downtime, uh, we will do one. And I think because Lauren and I are going to be down in Shepton five days, we may do a live down in Shepton. I think that is called for that we do a Shepton live, Lauren and I, and we may even wrote Charlie into it. Uh, yes, I believe, I'm sorry, reading Laurie's comment, will there be a buy merchandise option on the website? Yes, I think there will be. We'll probably put that for our, for our booking system, but yes, I, I, there, there should be. Um, it's definitely been in the um, the requirements. Um, I'm looking for the right word, but yes, it's, de it's definitely listed. Um, da -da 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 -da. Why have some cells been completely bricked up? For example, cell 42 on A-Wing. Uh, because 42 and 43 have been knocked through together. So that's a palliative care cell. So if you go inside 43 through door 43, it's been knocked together. So they've just bricked up the door of 42 because they only need one door to get into the palliative care cell. It's the same downstairs with the intervention suite. They have bricked up the cell 33, I think it is. Um, same with the server. The server is technically three cells and they've left the two doors on either end and bricked up the one in the middle. Um, so that's why those are bricked up. Um, da -da 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 -da. Thoughts on Boris and his dad not sticking to the COVID rules. Do you know what, Dennis? I, I I'm not even sure how much I've seen that. I saw that. Um, uh, I, saw, I saw that the bars inside uh, Parliament um, don't have to close at ten because they're places of work or something. They're regarded as cafeterias. I mean, what a load of bollocks that is. Um, and I must admit, we did we did look at it and we did kind of go, well, can we claim that because we're an ex-prison? We can't, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so I, I, do you know what? We're just we're abiding by all the rules, all the guidelines. We're keeping everything really safe. We're really looking after our visitors. We're really looking after our staff, um, and we are just going through this like everybody else, and just we're following the science on it and kind of the politicians do what politicians do. Um, but yeah, it's it's not been it's not been ideal. Um, so and so something happened today that I can't talk about today. Um, I'll talk about next week if you remind me. Um, which just had us in complete shock of like how the government and councils can behave at times. So remind me next week and I'll, I'll talk about it. 
Um, <laughs> Morris, I haven't spoken to Mr. G about being Mr. G Senior. I, I think he's in tomorrow. He is in tomorrow. Um, it'll be it'll be up on the damn cherry picker for sure. Um, so I'll have a conversation with him tomorrow, and I'll, I might even record him sort of saying about uh, Mr. G Senior. See what he says. Um, I don't expect his response to be polite, Morris. Though that's that's the one thing I will say. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, Michelle, you're visiting Shepton all week Sunday. Uh, Lauren and I are coming down on the 1st. Um, we're coming down in the evening, though. Um, so we won't be in the jail until probably the Monday morning. I was supposed to be going to Mexico on the 2nd of November, um, but I've put that off until next year. So that was a bit of a, a bit of a shame, but in the end I decided that was probably the smart move with everything that's going on. I, did, I, I wouldn't be too worried about myself and I'm not worried about Emma at all. Um, I was worried actually about the, um, uh, I was more worried about the kids. Um, so that's kind of why we, why we decided not to go to Mexico. So yeah, so down to Shepton instead. Replace Mexico with Shepton Mallet. Oh, Diane, will either Stacy, will either you, Stacey or Lauren be about when we arrive Saturday evening? I don't know what's happening Saturday evening. <laughs> it's probably the quick is the quick response. See, I've been I've been out of the loop for like less than six hours. I've no idea what you're talking about. Um, I'm assuming there's a paranormal. Um, there's a paranormal book. I would imagine Saturday. I don't know which group it's with. Uh, where are we? Is it all haunted? No, most most haunted haunted happenings. Um, most haunted. Uh, I'm not planning on being there. I might come in. Um, I, I don't know. Is it a celebrity night or is it is it um, a non-celebrity night? I don't think Lauren's on this weekend. And if Lauren's not on, Stacey won't be on. I think, they, I think it's their weekend off. Um, so I don't think they'll be in. Barry will be there. Barry, who's our paranormal um, supervisor. So he looks after paranormal groups and, uh, and their customers whilst they're in. Um, Laurie, we'll see you next week. I hope everything's okay. Apologies for winding you up. I couldn't resist. So apologies. I'll make it up to your promise. I'll watch my back as well, just in case you decide to get revenge. Um Cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do on Saturday. I don't, I'm, I'm not planning on coming to the jail, but I'll have a chat with Lauren and see if either of us are going in. But um, obviously, oh, I suppose we're wrong. Oh, obviously, the paranormals are, um, you know, the paranormals, uh, the paranormals they, they, they obviously do their events, and um, we, we tend not to um, pop in too much. We tend to sort of just let them get on with it because the last thing that Lauren and Stacey are going to do is come in. And, you know, become the celebs or something. No, I'm joking. Yeah, I may do. I don't know. I haven't got the answer, like I say. Right, guys. I think I'm gonna kind of leave it there. Um, uh, and yeah, I, I'm gonna crack on. I did it on Zoom tonight because I wasn't sure how how tonight was gonna go. But I think next week I'll probably go back onto onto Facebook Live. Um, I th I've got a feeling I'm off somewhere next week. Just check my diary. Da, 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 da. It's the week after. There's definitely one, one Thursday where I won't be around. Right, I will be, but I won't be at home, so I'll be off here. Right, um, I'll let you get crack on, guys. Thank you very much once again. Um, always a pleasure. Um, nice to sort of do these sessions. But anyway, yeah. And next week we're back for number twenty. So big two zero. Where's the stop button? There it is. Right, <laughs> ladies. <laughs>